So there is something called seborrheic keratosis. Can you identify or help somebody identify what that is and how they can treat it? Because I've found that many people will develop one of these or a few of these over their lifetime. They're really, they're like a barnacle on the skin. And it is, uh, by my estimation, and this is again part of our uh, new idea of finding the source of skin conditions, it is a fungal infection literally growing on your skin like a barnacle. And so in order to treat that, uh, we have this particular topical that helps the skin fight fungal infections called Rescue. And uh, we use that very effectively. And it'll literally, you'll see the skin just diminish it and shrink it down until it is gone. And, and they develop in the skin really because as you get older and the more sun you get, the weaker your immune system gets. And so it just lacks the ability to fight those uh, little fungal infections and um, that's just a great example of something that's really easy to deal with um, a lot of people have considered cutting them out uh, there's other uh, you know not many strategies a lot of times doctors just leave them alone because they're not really a serious condition they can but appear they're unsightly all over the body right like they can appear everywhere you know uh, and that um, you, I'm glad you bring that up uh, if you see people who are growing more and more moles and or in this case seborrheic keratoses um, they are yeast based, like they are literally, um, becoming more yeasty, if you will, like dough or something rising. So, um, they should look to going into inside and trying to treat the fungal condition. So it may not be a bad idea to add that, that, uh, candida energy, uh, water that we make in order to help assist the body in that, especially like you said, if they're getting them all over the body. Good to know. All right.